Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Gayboy Psychic here at your service, making the universe a better place with positive karmic energy. Let's go. So for all my new viewers out there, just know that I don't edit my voice clips or anything like that together. I simply talk from the beginning to end to prove that I'm semi-psychic and to set a good example out there. Out there, uh, this is how people talk in real life. So chill the F out all the Karens and look at this picture if I had not said that already. So yeah, um, if you're new to my channel, so don't judge. And also, I just want to say that my heart is racing right now because i am just really really happy that my last clean video got like over 200 views almost 300 now so that's amazing that people are checking out my youtube channel and i'm getting a lot of subscribers and a lot of um new subscribers and just love and support and i thank everybody who commented um so yeah so that being said um so clean just like made an apology video and oh my god okay sorry i need to pause i just i'm like okay so if for all my fellow viewers out there who um already watched my last video you guys know that the youtube admins one of them um gave me a youtube strike for my video that i made a week ago actually a week and a half ago now it was the clean ballinger video but it was before the last one that i made because um i took a lot of time and effort into making that video and it got striked within the first hour and it got like almost 100 views in the first hour so i'm pretty sure it would have gotten like over 5,000 views at least but some person on the youtube team reviewed it only one hour after i posted it and then they, they took it down and then they gave me a strike they said that i was harassing slash cyberbullying and i really really wasn't because i was not saying anything like rude or anything like that it was just um i think it's because i'm like sassy and i'm gay and there's just some motherfucker on the youtube team that literally like just does not like me so i'm so i want to do a, a appeal because i feel like if i do an appeal then they're gonna say oh yeah that strike was not warranty or warranted and we apologize for that convenience and then they'll take the strike away and therefore i can like not be scared anymore because i used to swear a lot in my old videos you guys can just watch those videos like you guys know that i swear a lot so i'm like scared to swear now because i think that i'm gonna get striked or something and it's not fair because we're talk I was talking about Colleen and Adam in the manner that I was talking about in the last video that I made. And that video did not get, like, striked or anything like that. So I don't understand why, like, it got striked before. It, only because, like, I swore a lot in the other video. So I'm assuming that might, could possibly be it. But, like, there was nothing wrong with that video. And if you guys, like... <sighs> I can make like a Patreon or something and I can like put that video up and you guys can see for yourself that there was nothing wrong with that video. For some strange reason, somebody on the YouTube team just hates me. So I know that not everybody on the YouTube team hates me. It's just that one specific individual. So I want to know who that person was. And I want the other YouTube admins to like fire that person and be like, oh yeah, they, they just have a thing against you. Don't worry, we took your strike away. Because you know there's like people at work that have like that admin power and they not not all admins are like this but some admins just abuse their power and they'll just like bully people for no reason just because of their sexual orientation or racial background so i feel like that person in the youtube team and this is my psychic intuition talking and i'm sorry if this is taking too long i'm almost done but i'm just really fucking pissed off that they like gave me a strike for no reason when there was so many other people making the same content that i was making that says way way more worse than i ever did in that video and they didn't get like striked or anything like that so that person will get forever bad karma on the youtube admin team that like gave me a strike because listen i'm psychic i can like send you to hell bitch so i just want to say i really hope that this video does not get taken down because if it does i'll be really mad because i took a lot of time and effort making it and then this will be my second strike and then i won't be able to upload again in like a month and then if i get three strikes and my channel get deleted so i'm just being extra safe i i love to swear it doesn't make me a bad person i just who doesn't like to swear it's like a release of like pumped up pumped up energy like there's no harm in swearing it's like you finish a workout that you just did for like two hours on their treadmill you're gonna be like fuck yeah that was awesome and then it's not a bad thing that I, I like to swear and that's how i see it i like to swear in that 
context just because i just because i swear does not mean that i'm a bad person so somebody on the youtube team that you know gave me a strike they're gonna get forever bad karma because they wrong with the they messed with the wrong person so all the other youtube admins that are listening to this right now please find who that person was because if if i can figure out how to do a review and appeal then i will do that after this video because that was not fair but anyways sorry for the long intro i'm good so uh, I'm going to be swearing in this video, so again, take it in that context that I explained to you. So yeah, Colleen video, sorry again, I'm going to get to the topic now, but Colleen Ballinger made an apology video about like, probably like 8 hours or like 10 hours ago, and I was going to, like I did watch it right away, but and I was going to make a video right away. But the thing is, I'm not like an attention whore <laughs> like Peter Mon because Peter Mon and Adam Mac well, I understand Adam McIntyre because he's involved in the situation, but like Peter Mon literally will upload a video. Like the moment that Colleen uploaded her video, literally, I swear to God, it was only like 25 to 30 minutes, Peter Mon uploaded his video. And the thing about Peter Mon is that he just he's just an attention seeking whore. Like, I'm sorry, like I'm not trying to offend someone when I say whore, so don't give me a strike youtube admins is just gay lingo like chill the f out you karen but literally like um he just wants attention and i'm not like that because for me i want to be the complete opposite of like those toxic drama channels like freaking deaf noodles who like just does research right away because peter mon and deaf noodles they're very very similar they just want to post the news right away so that they can get attention on their channel and they don't do any research or anything like that they just jump to conclusions and they just like harass people and it's funny that like the youtube admins like gave me a copyright strike saying that i was harassing and cyberbullying when peter mon literally like does way way more intense like harassment and cyberbullying than i have ever done and yet they don't give him a ban or anything like that so i really feel like they are like out to get me for some strange reason i don't know what it is i just fight for what's right and i fight for positivity so i don't understand why they hate me so much or why that one youtube admin hates me so much so please pray for me that you know the youtube the other youtube admins and the rest of the youtube team sees what i'm talking about and they will like take the strike away after i do an appeal or review and that person will get like fired because they just have it out to get me for some strange reason but yeah so i like to do research before i make videos so because i want to get everything correct i just i'm not one to seek attention right away i just want to know what the hell is going on and get down to the root of it and then literally share my opinion because again i don't judge people i don't like i'm not a bully i'm not a harasser so i don't understand why they would give me that strike it just makes literally no sense at all and this video is going to take a long 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 time so grab some popcorn order some mcdonald's big mac or something from the mc delivery app oh my god i'm craving mcdonald's right now hold on i'm drinking my amazing coffee so i'm good but um oh my god i'm hungry i'm actually might go to mcdonald's after this like i'm starving okay so Grab some popcorn, grab some popcorn, grab some wine, whatever you want, because this video is going to take a long time. So, um, I watched Peter Mon's um, video before I made this video. I watched the whole thing. I watched Tea Time's video. I watched the whole thing. I even watched goddamn Hassan Nabi's video. And you guys know that I hate Hassan Piker, whatever his name is. But he is like an attention whore, just like Peter Mon, and he wants to make videos right away without knowing the situation. Like, this guy knew nothing about it, and he just, like, just bashed Colleen for no reason. Like, he didn't even know the full situation. And he was calling her the the P word. You know, the it rhymes with um, nail file. Because I'm scared to say it. Because if I... If I God forbid, if I say it, then the YouTube admin, like, whoever it was, is going to, like, give me another strike. But yet, Hassan Piker literally made a video and uploaded it on YouTube, and he literally said the P word. Like, he didn't even blur it out or anything like that. And he didn't get, like, freaking uh, copyright strike, copyright strike, whatever it's called, like, but they gave it to me. Like, what the hell is up with that? You know, that one YouTuber admin needs to get fired because he's try or she is trying to, like, belittle me for no reason for telling the truth. You know, I'm just the warrior that fights for justice. So I'm going to continue to do me. The only thing is I'm not going to be aggro and I'm not going to be, like, swearing, like, too, too, too much. But I will swear here and there. So forgive me if I swear. I mean, you guys 
my loyal fans know who I am, so I don't have to explain myself. I really am pissed off about the whole copyright strike thing. But anyways, or not copyright, the strike in general. So anyways, um, I watched Hassan, and this guy was going haywell on. Like, this guy is so, like, disgusting. He is the biggest, like, like he's so stupid. And he is, like, the biggest, like, troll slash just bad person of all time and not of all time there are worse people than him but he is pretty damn bad and um he like he has no place to like bad bad mouth colleen ballinger when he has done way 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 more worse things than she has ever did so the fact that this guy has like such a huge ego just really pisses me off but um that being said who else did i watch there was a bunch more um Tea Time, Peter Mon, Hassan, Piker. Um, I don't. I know there was one more, but I forgot who it was. But yeah, I watched. I was probably watching at least like an hour. Oh, it was Adam McIntyre. Yeah. So th- the first person that I watched right away after the clean video was Adam because he uploaded, like I said earlier, right away. And I watched the whole. I think it was like forty-four minutes. His response. So he was basically saying that he watched it with his family. And that, like, this was the first video that I watched. And then after that, I watched, um, it was either Hassan Piker or Tea Time. And then Peter Mon at the very, very end. So I watched four videos already about um, everybody's opinion. So I I want, I want to share my opinion now because, like, I'm not just going to, like, post a video right away after I watch Colleen's video. I want to see other people's responses, and then I'll post my response because I want all the information before I make my two cents, if that makes sense. Oh, that rhymed. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry, I'm drinking coffee again. This is not edited. So chill out, chill out all the cans out there. So, um, yeah, so... Basically, as I was saying, Adam watched it with his family and he was like making fun of her because she her apology was basically she was like she was playing the ukulele and then like she made a song about it as in like because it she can tell that she was upset and hurt. But like she was trying to stay positive, I guess, because that's why she made the song. And Adam was like literally, <laughs> God damn, he was like freaking See, I'm scared to, like, laugh. I'm scared to, like, swear. I'm scared to do anything because I'm scared that I'm going to get a goddamn strike, you know? So please, my loyal fans, pray for me that my channel does not get deleted or anything like that because I worked really hard for you guys. And it's just growing more and more. So anyways, um, yeah, so he was just laughing at the fact that she made a song and he watched it with his family and they were all, like, agreeing. And, you know, he was, like, he was just still pissed off and he was going... At the end of the video, he basically said that he was taking a trip to Los Angeles. I think he said it was like in four days from now, he's taking a trip to Los Angeles. And he's going to be doing a lot of interviews. And that's all he said. So Adam McIntyre, like I said in the previous video, this guy like will not stop. Like he is really, really hurt. And I honestly think that I I feel like he's just taking it a little bit too far. I feel like the real reason why he's hurt is because, like, he was a huge fan of Colleen. And I guess, like, Colleen just didn't give him that much attention. And I think that she left the group chat or something, and she just left him hanging, and he got pissed off. And then, like, he made this... And then she, like, collabed with, like, you know, disturbing YouTubers like Trisha Paytas. And then he's like, okay, enough is enough. You're treating me like crap, so I'm going to expose you now. I really feel like that's what it is. And again, I mean no harm when I say that. I'm just sharing my opinion. And my opinion about Colleen is that I don't hate Colleen. I actually think she's really, really cool. I, I actually like her a lot. The only thing that I don't like about her is the fact that she made a podcast with Trisha Paytas. And everybody knows that Trisha Paytas is, like, a curse. Like, she's just not a good person. So, um, literally, like, um, why would you, you know, support a really, really disturbed, you know, scammer like Trisha Paytas? 
um, when you portray yourself to be like this nice bubbly girl. And I'm talking about Colleen. So that's the only thing that I don't like about her. Other than that, I think these accusations that Adam is making is like way, way, way too like far out of the right. And I feel like the Internet is just like on the bandwagon just to hate on someone for no reason. And they're just hating on Colleen and they're picking Adam's side. And again, like I'm not picking sides. I just feel like Adam is just taking it too far. That's all. I really don't think that Colleen meant it in a bad way. And I know I'm going to get like a lot of hate for that, but it's just my honest truth. Like, again, I don't, I'm not picking sides. I just think that Adam is taking it too far. But, you know, I'm disappointed in Colleen for hanging out with people like Trisha Paytas. That's all. Other than that, I have no issue with Colleen. I think that she's actually really cool. But, like, I never watched Miranda Sings or anything like that. It's just I know who she was because she and Joey Graceffa were, like, close friends. And Joey Graceffa, I'm a huge fan of. So, um, yeah, so I don't know, like, what to think. But... Um, I speaking of Trisha Paytas quickly. Um, you guys know if you guys seen in my other videos, all the videos that I made about her, like I despise this woman. I think that she is like so like just cringe and just not a good person. Like in the videos that I made, and I really hope that I don't get striked for saying this, but I called her like <laughs> I called her like just like bad names. I said that she was just like like toxic like. I don't want to say the word because I'm scared to fucking, like, that I'm going to get banned, you know? But I was watching this one tarot reader, and I don't know how I came across it. I was just scrolling my YouTube feed, and this video came up, and it was a tarot reader. And I forgot her name, but she is, like, a really, really, like, amazing sweetheart. Like, her voice is very, very soothing. And she made a, like, I think she was, like, a 30-minute video. I'm not sure, but I watched the whole thing. She did a whole tarot reading on Trisha Pates has and you guys can see for yourself like this girl was calling out Trisha Pates has and she was calling her spirit guides or whatever she does for her tarot reading and her spirit guides were telling her that Trisha Pates has is like a curse she's like a demonic person and you know like they like this her spirit guides and angels like the tarot reader was telling the the tarot reader herself that Trisha Pates has is like hellish like she's like demonic she's not a good person and that she has like this curse on her and there was another girl that i watched on youtube and this was just a random girl that i saw she said that she thinks that trisha pates has is cursed and i actually commented and said that i was going to make a video after i liked her video because i was saying this all along i was saying that's what i was saying i was saying that there's something like cursed or messed up about trisha pates has. and keep in mind these girls they did not get um copy they're not did not oh, i can't talk not copyright strike but did not get a strike in general and they said stuff that i'm too scared to say but if i say it then i'm scared that they're gonna give me a strike so basically i did call trisha paytas and you guys can see for yourself like in my old videos i'm this is gonna be the last time i say this word so don't take it as harassment because other people have said it and their youtube channel did not get strikes so if they're striking me then you guys know that you know, they have something out against me for some strange reason. So please pray for me and pray for my channel to be okay so I can keep, you know, commenting and entertaining you guys. And basically, like, um, I said in my in my previous videos, many, many videos, that Trisha Paytas is very, very demonic. And I really feel like there's, like, a curse around her. And I've been saying this for, like, years, you guys. And it's just... It's, I'm so glad I'm getting chills. I'm so glad that I'm making, I, I have my YouTube channel because you guys can see proof for yourself that what I've been saying for years is finally, finally coming to light. And I, I'm just so proud of myself for standing my ground and just pray for me that my channel just only goes uphill from now and that it will not get another strike ever again and it will not get deleted. And just know that I come in peace and I'm just trying to protect the YouTube world and just people in the world from like scammers like Trisha Paytas, you know? So that's the only reason why I hate or I don't hate, but I have an issue with Colleen is because she surrounds herself with Trisha Paytas and people like that who support people like that, like it's just not a good look. So other than that, I have no issue with Colleen and that's my whole two cents on that. And uh, I just... I just can't believe, and everybody like Peter Mon and Tea Time, and like I said, Hassan, 
they all like said the most horrible things about like Colleen, and I'm like, bro, why did they, why they did they not get striked, but I did when I like didn't say anything mean about Colleen at all. It literally makes no sense, you guys. So, I'm just I'm really scared that this is gonna get like taken down, but I pray to God that it won't. But anyways, um, I think if you guys are interested in my channel and my personality and please subscribe because i really appreciate it and i already got 200 subscribers and i'm getting more and more views every single day that i post a video so and more fans so you know i'm i'm getting into my groove um so that's i think that's it for my opinion on the whole other people's reaction but for colleen's actual apology herself coming from my point of view i actually thought that the song was really really catchy and good um colleen actually looked really good in the video like her makeup was very very nice she looked young she looked like she was like 28 even though i think she's like 37 or 36 now but she looked good she looked like she was 28 and colleen has always been skinny i'm jealous i wish i was skinny like that but yeah she looked amazing but like i don't know i just the song <laughs> I, I don't know if she should have done a song. I feel like she she should have just like talked in general instead of making a song because people are going to perceive her as like not taking it serious and they're going to perceive her as like trolling when she makes like a ukulele um, type of apology song video. But it's like her team was telling her, she was explaining that her team was telling her not to make a video not to talk about it and to stay quiet but it's just like well i can sing about it so obviously she sung <laughs> and this issue has really gotten her like you know thinking a lot of stuff and she's been stressed like she said but other than that she really has no like remorse or anything like that and i'm just like so shocked at how strong colleen is because like this is like the biggest news of 2023 and to me, it's not even that a big of a deal because I don't think that Colleen meant any harm by it. If she did meant any harm by it, then yeah, I would be a big, it would be a big deal. But I really don't think that she meant any harm with it. And check out my other video if you guys want to know more about how I feel because I already said it in that video. But like my reaction to, to the apology video is that I thought it was funny. I thought it was a clever idea. But I just really think that she should have just talked instead of sung because it would have been more like genuine and sincere. However, like I, I'm not signing with Colleen. I'm not signing with Adam. I just feel like Adam is taking it too far, and I think that's my opinion on it. Like, that's it. Like, and for all my loyal fans out there, like, um, just know that uh, you guys know that I've been. I'm a huge fan of Mario Salmon and James Charles, and. Um, load and behold, Mario Selman, he made a vlog and he's in Paris, or he made a vlog when he was in Paris, and this is his second vlog now, and he is hanging out with James Charles more and more, and I really do feel like Mario Selman is listening to my videos because, you know, I've said in the last video that I made about him that I really want him to change his hair color back to blonde because that's his signature look, and he had his brown basic hair for like a year, and he finally like changed it back to blonde and then i also said in the previous videos that i made about him that i want him to do vlogs with him in blonde hair so that he can like you know just slay the world with his cute twinkers draco mal fully appearance and make all the gay guys happy out there because he's literally like my dream come true like i've always wanted to have like a gay best friend that looks like mario summon like a twink cute short like five feet because mario summon he's 23 22 turning 23 he's a year younger than james so um he i think he's 22 so because james just turned 23 this year i think or no i don't even know i think james turned 24 and mario is 23 i don't fucking know but um i'm just really happy that they're getting close because i said that once james charles and mario salmon are in the same room as, at, with each other um they're gonna be like the next like nicole rich and paris hilton like they're gonna have that superstar power dynamic duel like but more stronger and he's been hanging out with james charles more and more like the very first vlog that he made with this the whole paris vlog him and james charles like were in the vlog t together like in the cafe and you guys should have seen like everybody was surrounding them like they get so much attention and then i just watched the second vlog that he created today like 12 hours ago and he was vlogging with Amanda Diaz in, in Paris 
And Amanda Diaz is a fellow YouTuber, um, and she's, like, Latina, I think. She's just, like, Mario Salmon because Mario Salmon is Latina, even though he looks white, but he is Latina. And um, they were in Paris together, just, like, vibing as, like, a girl and her gay best friend, and it was so adorable. And the attention that Mario Salmon gets with his blonde hair, like, everybody was following him in the vlog. So, Mario Salmon, if you're listening to this video right now, just know that I haven't forgotten about you. And I know that I sound so crazy right now to all my <laughs> new fans out there. So just relax, subscribe if you're interested in my personality. Like, for real, like, you guys will understand what I'm talking about. So just subscribe and just trust and believe me. So basically, I said that Mario Salmon, like, I, like I'm a huge fan of Mario Salmon. And I know that he's listening. And this is just a confirmation that he is listening and he's taking my advice. So Mario Salmon, if you're listening to this right now, which I'm pretty sure you are, I love you. And just know I didn't forget about you and I was busy making videos about other YouTubers because I don't just talk about you, but just know that I care for you and I really, really want you to just continue to listen to me because I know that you're in a happy place right now and you've been in through a funk for a very long time and I really want you to continue to hang out with Lila Gimney and James Charles because they really sincerely have your back. So, yeah. <sighs> Anyways, so that's... I'm just I'm just in a really happy place right now and for all my loyal fans like I know you guys understand me and you guys know what I mean and you guys know that I don't sound crazy because again this is not edited this is just my life I don't just talk about like YouTuber dramas I talk about like video games or anything that interests me so like Mortal Kombat, Final Fantasy 7, whatever League of Legends like yeah so that's the end of this video I'm trying to think because like I was gonna make a separate video about the whole Trisha Paytas is like she's because Trisha Paytas, I already talked about it, but one thing that I will mention is that, that I forgot to mention is that every single video that she's making, it's just like, she's making me like uncomfortable. She's making me cringe. You know what I mean? Like, and everybody else sees it. And I'm just so happy that people are just verifying what I've been saying all along that like, she's like this curse. Like that one girl was saying that like, Everybody that hangs out with Trisha Paytas just is like gets into like a lot of drama. So Trisha Paytas is a curse. She just and then the tarot reader girl said that she has like gnats and like demonic energy around her, and that's what I've been saying like all this time that she did like a curse. Like she's like really bad. Like she just she's scary. Like not in a good way. And guys, I really want you to check out that girl's YouTube channel. Like the or at least the video that she made because you guys won't understand what I mean. Watch the whole thing because that was a crazy the, the craziest tarot reading that I've ever seen ever. I don't really believe in tarot's that much as much as like psychics like Tyler Henry, but I do feel like tarot readers do have some psychic beliefs to them and this just verifies everything that I've been saying, you know? Like I'm just so happy that I have my YouTube channel. So please like YouTube admin that like gave me a strike do not strike this video because I really mean no harm I just want to fight for what's right make the world a better place and just know that I'm coming from a good place and I think that everybody should be treated equally whether they're gay or straight or bi so please don't be homophobic and just don't like because like I'm a sassy young gay guy and th that's not that popular yet but I'm sure that once I get like a million subscribers my videos probably won't get striked so just pray for me fans that i'll be okay and closing this video off i just want to quickly say that um i was going to make a separate video about like trisha paytas but i'm pretty sure that i should have just talked about it like it, i did now so i'm happy that i just talked about it and i was gonna make a separate video about mario summon as well and but you know that wasn't like his videos only got like ten thousand views and he has like I think he has like 777 like thousand subscribers so for him to get only get like 10,000 views is really disheartening only because like he hasn't uploaded in like two years or so and his fans just kind of like you know gave up because he doesn't update his fans with anything and I feel like um he's finally coming back so I'm glad that he's back but it's like he should have just like listened to my advice before and just like made more, more videos and stop hanging out with like toxic people like just i think that that what's her name lauren godwin is like she's she was just clearly using mario selman and he just let her and he gave her more attention than he than he gave his fans like us and that's the only thing that's disheartening about mario selman is that he'll give like these random people in real life like so much attention attention and love then the true fans like he'll just ignore and then i and the true fans are is what made him famous so you can't just like leave your fans for like 
troll people like Lauren Godelman in real life, Mario Salmon. Like, you have to, like, respect people who made you famous in the first place. So that's the only negative thing that I got to say about Mario Salmon. Other than that, like, I love him. And I was going to make a whole new video about him, but there's no need because he doesn't have that much fans or that have his support nowadays. But I still have his support, and I really... Like, the whole James Charles situation, like, there's nothing going on in James Charles' news right now. Like, he made a video with Jojo Siwa, and that was the last time I heard about him. And he's really not doing anything that exciting these days. So, I mean, I'm, I'm a huge fan of James Charles. So, um, when, whenever, like, Mario Salmon and James Charles are in, like, the same video together, that just makes me super happy because I'm... Um, like, if it weren't for James Charles, I wouldn't know who Mario Salmon is. So I have to always thank James Charles because I'm the biggest Mario Salmon fan ever. So that being said, like, again, pray for me that this video does not get striked. And, yeah, I'm just, I'm happy to be back in the game. And um, I'm trying to think, like, next video that I'm going to make is probably going to be about Mortal Kombat because there's a lot of news going on. Or maybe I should just talk about it really fast now because basically um, Mortal Kombat like 2, the movie, is coming out like either next year or the year after that. And they're filming this year. And one of my favorite characters is Jade. So And they put her in the Mortal Kombat 2 movie. So I'm so happy because the, the actress that they hired for Jade looks exactly how Jade looked in Mortal Kombat 11. She has like the same expression in her face and eyes. And that just makes me so happy that they put Jade in Because like Jade is like a badass and all the gay guys love Jade. So yeah, I just really, really hope that the movie is like amazing. And there's a lot of Jade scenes. Please do not kill her in the movie because I have a feeling that they might kill her because like they killed Melina and they might kill Jade. But I, I really hope that they won't. But, um, again, this is a video game. Relax, all the Karens out there. Um, so, um, I'm just just really happy. I'm, just, I'm in a good, happy space right now. And next month is amazing for me. I'm able to pay rent and I'm able to, you know, live another month just, like, being on my YouTube channel and just, like, uploading as much as possible. And, yeah, that's all I got to say. Um I can't think of anything else. Um, again, this is not edited, but is there anything else that I would like to talk about? Um, I think that's it. So that being said, um, I'm going to end this video now and subscribe if you guys believe in me. And I'm just super, super happy right now. And I thank God in the universe that I'm able to live life the way that I want to live and be in my beautiful apartment and just like make my YouTube channel grow more stronger and stronger. And I pray that I will get super, super like a lot of subscribers where like at least like a million subscribers because that's my goal. So I'm going to continue making videos. And if you guys believe in me and you guys know that I'm not a bad person, then subscribe and just I love everybody equally, but I really want my channel to cater to gay men the most because I am a gay man and, you know, us gay guys, we have a heart in the world. So it, it feels nice to, you know, support, get support from other gay guys out there. So holler at me if you're a gay guy and you support my topics that I talk about and if you believe in me and I love you guys so much. And yeah, I just don't know like what video I'm going to make next. Like I already, there's like nothing else going on besides the clean thing. And I already talked about Mortal Kombat. Like, there's nothing else going on. Um, Final Fantasy VII, amazing video game. That's coming out in 2024. Can't wait for that. Um, I don't know. Maybe this will be my last video for, like, a while until something bigger happens. But if I up upload a another random video just talking about a random subject after this, don't, like, be like, what is he talking about? Just know that I'm trying to pump out as much videos as possible that interest me so I can grow my fan base because I know that everybody's interested in my personality and I just can't believe that I got like 294 like views on my clean video and I'm just so thankful and grateful because I only have 200 subscribers so obviously getting like 300 views when I only have 200 subscribers is crazy to me so and that's like on a daily basis because the Lorray situation video that I made that got like 300 subscribers or um views as well so that being said um 
I'm like starving. I'm gonna like eat some food and I love you guys so much. And once again, subscribe if you guys believe in me and more videos coming soon, I promise. Peace out.